Hello everyone and welcome to the Trade Ideas Live Trading Room Recap for Friday, August the 25th. My name is Barry Anderson, moderator of your room. Any questions for me, this is the email address to use and this is a link to get into our free room. You heard it right, free room. Uh, you can come in even as a guest. You don't have to be a member of Trade Ideas. Oops, sorry about that. And all we ask is for your email. We send you an email. You create a password one time and then you can come into the room. I open the room at 9 a.m. That's when I start to share my screen and I get live on the mic at 9.05. And this is the link to use for a subscription. There's a promo code there just to give you an idea. Trade ideas will cost you $4.40 a day for our premium service and about $2.07, $2.07 for our standard service. It's on an annual basis. And of course, we do have monthly plans. And I am in a couple of trades <laughs> as, as we were speaking, so I just have to uh, keep an eye on them. Uh, they're working okay right now. I um, just want to show you this one. Uh, I, again, I found it uh, to be uh, kind of a, cho a very choppy day, not a big trend day, though the couple I'm in now are trending not too badly. I guess I'm, uh, I'll, show the, I'll show them to you once I get a chance. But this is the one I had uh, higher hopes for, uh, PSTG. It was a, um, it's an earnings play. Symbol linking. Let's get the symbol linking going. Yeah, so it is an earnings play, and you can see release earnings uh, after hours yesterday. Make sure of that. Yeah, minus twenty two, minus point two five. That's our designation for an after hours. And so there's the move area. Initial reaction, great. Came back down, and then it settled. This is the pre-market, so this is where we saw it. Uh, nice opening candle right there. And I waited on it for the, you know me, I like to wait for that 14 break. I also like to wait for that first 15 minutes to settle down. Find I get whipped out too many, of too many trades when I try to do something within the first 15 minutes. Not that I'm never going to do it, but, um, you know, I, I do like to, you know, take my time a little bit. Now, this one did not work <laughs> originally. I got in at uh, 14. This is going to kill me, by the way, uh, if it keeps moving up. I'll show you why. Um, I got in originally right there at uh, 1415. Took a little bit out at 1420 as it popped, and then it came right back down, and I and I cleared out at 1409. So basically flat. Then I re-entered the trade. Um, re-entered the trade at 1427. Yeah, right about there. Actually, it would have been right there after this pullback. I entered it right there, and it really didn't do too much. I mean, it took forever for it to uh, move around. It was it seemed to be stuck forever. And I did something I don't normally do. I added. <laughs> I added to it at, I think it was 37. 39. I added at 39 right here. Uh, it says 37, but you, you understand what I'm trying to do here. So I added it up here. It moved up. Must have added it right here because I did. Uh, yeah, it, I added it right in this area here because I didn't wait for this to come down. Then I ended up. Actually, that's not true. I'm sorry. I'm all over the place. I know. When it came back down, it hit 50 and then it started to move down and I exited my entire position at 1441. And, um, you know, so there, that, that's it. I mean, I was really hoping for a much bigger move. And it may happen at, by the end of the day. 15, if you look at a daily chart, 15 is probably going to, going to stall it anyway. You have to look a little further back, right about here. Probably going to stall it anyway, but I uh, was really hoping to get a lot more out of this one. But anyway, it wasn't a bad trade. This one I'm in. This is a Holly Alert CVI. And let's get to the 15 minute. So here's the alert at 1963. Now I didn't take it there. Um, now this is a resource stock and I don't know if the specific reason for it going up. I mean, there's a hurricane of course hitting uh, the Texas uh, coast and I think some of the refineries are, are being shut down. This is a petroleum refinery. So uh, maybe it's not there. So maybe it's going to pick up some slack. Maybe it's going to have increased protection. I don't really know. All I know is that Holly called it at 1963. But, and I waited for the 20 break and it took forever. It was bopping up and down, up and down. And I, 
I guess I, I must have deleted the alert, but I had an alert set for 2010 right, right at the high here. And it popped. Look at that volume. It popped. I was able to get some at 2016. 2016. And I'm still in it. And, you know, I probably, if it gets into the 40s, I may, I may have to take some out. But right now it's looking to uh, be not too bad a trade. I am also in Urban, U-R-B-N. And I'm in at 21, where am I in at 21.12 for Urban. This is another one that uh, was just popping around just over that whole number uh, for quite a while. I looked at this, uh, what, what, why I got interested in it, I looked at the after hours yesterday and look, look at the action it had. And I, you know what, I didn't read the news, don't know why it had all that, but I decided that if it, uh, once it got over that whole number, that I would be uh, somewhat interested in taking. It took a long time for it to really get, uh, to shake free that, that whole number. But finally it did. So I'm in at 21.13 and yeah, we'll see what happens. You know, if it gets into the 30s, uh, if it goes back to 21.13, I will uh, probably exit the trade. And uh, let's see, add some other trades, really kind of inconsequential trades. The Borg Warner, or Borg Warners, Babcock and Will Cox. <laughs> This is one that I'm uh, seriously considering swinging. I was actually in this one. Uh, I've got, sh I got, I, I was in at, uh, I think it was 206, and I took myself out at 203. I'll show you on the de on the 15 minute why. But take a look at this. I mean, this got just uh, really, really creamed hard on earnings, and it really has not recovered until maybe yesterday. S excuse me starting to try to curl around so depending on how it uh, closes today let's get to the uh, 15 minute chart yeah i actually took this trade right at um 206 i took the trade originally at 206 probably on this candle right right there yeah it was on that candle and it actually popped up to 209 then as it started coming down, I said, you know what, I don't want the aggravation if it goes down through two. So I took myself out at three for a three cent loss. And that, but I was watching it and it was holding. So if it closes near the high of the day, I may just take some and swing this and, you know, with try to put a two stop on it or a dollar ninety or nah, probably a two stop on it and see if it can continue to keep that curl pattern uh, uh, going. So we'll see. So that's it. Uh, today and yesterday, I found uh, difficult trading. A lot of small little chop outs. Um, you know, a couple, a couple of not bad winners, but certainly not like Wednesday or Tuesday, I think Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of this week. One of those days I know was a fantastic day. Well, when I'm talking about a fantastic day, I'm not talking about how much money I made or anything like that. I'm just talking about stocks that when you, you know, that had a lot of good trend in them. So when you got in. Uh, on what you would consider a, a decent break, a decent pattern. You know, they kept trending uh, well in that direction. And I just didn't see a lot of that yesterday nor today. All right. Well, that's it for this week. Let me just get my little, yeah, my, my capture screen up here. So listen, I hope everybody has a great, great weekend. And I'll open the room at 9 o'clock Monday morning and get live at 9.05. So when I open the room at 9, that's when I start to share my screen, and I'll get live at 9.05 on the mic. So I hope everybody has a great weekend, and we'll see you Monday morning. Bye-bye.